the women's 100 meter hurdles and the lane assignments as you see them Jillian Russell Jackie Joyner Kersey expected to draw most of the attention. and 1992 world junior champion the Jackie Joyner Kersey is a scratch Jillian Russell with the lead over the first hurdle running in lane three Jillian Russell still on top Martin Florial is running close in second now the race is on and Lopez of Cuba and possibly Dion Rose. It'll be very difficult to see. Again, we talked about it in the men's 100 meters. When athletes come on at the end of the race. Who's from Jamaica finishes first. An identical time of Don Bowles. Lopez of Cuba, who came on strong and appeared to have the victory at one point, finishes third. Jillian Russell from Jamaica is fourth. JBN, we keep you informed. Jamaican Olympic sprint hurdler. Dean Rose Henley has lost the battle to cancer. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Olympian Dean Rose Henley died on Monday night after a battle with cancer at age 49. The former Jamaican 100 meter hurdler who celebrated her 49th birthday last month was reportedly taken off life support on the weekend when rumors of her death began to circulate. However, sources said that she was breathing on her own, providing a glimmer of hope for her family and friends. Rose Henley represented Jamaica at the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona, where she made the semifinals. Before reaching the final four years later in Atlanta, the hurdler placed fifth in that final. She has personal bests of 12.64 in the 100-meter hurdles and 7.96 in the indoor 60-meters hurdles. Rose Henley's first medal for Jamaica was bronze, in the long jump at the 1988 Carifta Games. In 1991, she won silver in both the 100-meter hurdles and the long jump. Rose Henley, a two-time national champion, then went on to represent the country at the 1995, 1997, 1999, and 2001 World Championships, and twice claimed gold at the CSC Games. She was a part of a crop of trailblazing female hurdlers, which included the likes of Bonnet Dixon, Gillian Russell, and Delorine Ennis London. After retiring from the sport, Rose Henley took up coaching at her alma mater, Middle Tennessee State University, for two seasons before moving to Tennessee State University. She then journeyed to Central Michigan, where she spent seven years. Last summer, Rose Henley was named Coastal Carolina Assistant Track and Field Coach, where she focused on the hur sprints, hurdles, and relays. Sleep in peace, my sister. You have done your part in the building of this great nation. At JBN, we offer our condolences to your family and friends. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily 